What is going on, you guys? I'm your host, Stacy Cole Morgan, and you are listening to the Morgan Man Sports Podcast here on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you find your preferred podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are keeping it short, sweet, and simple, but we are talking Atlanta Falcons football that is happening today against the Miami Dolphins at Hard Rock Stadium. So without any further delay, let's go get straight into today's action. The following is a presentation of the Belly Up Sports Media Network. Welcome to the Morgan Man Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Stacy Cole Morgan. Here on the Morgan Man Sports Podcast, we talk Atlanta Falcons news, pre-game predictions, and all other news surrounding the Atlanta Falcons. Touchdown, Atlanta! Also on the podcast, we talk Call of Duty League esports covering roster mania, major predictions, COD champs, player trades, and much more to get you ready for every single CDL weekend. Scuff goes through, and Scuff stands with the 101 in optic with the reverse sweep. If that sounds good with you, put on your Falcons jersey, grab your gaming headset, and let's get the show started. guys you heard it right we are talking atlanta falcons football football is finally back ladies and gentlemen and i am super stoked about it i'm super stoked about the college season coming up with the new 12 team playoff expansion georgia hopefully getting three national titles out of four seasons because you know of course i'm a georgia boy and Atlanta Falcons, this is a promising season to make the playoffs and potentially win the Super Bowl this year. Everything is looking so bright right now for Georgia sports. Whether you are in Athens or in Atlanta, the future is looking bright, ladies and gentlemen. But it all starts with the preseason happening today, Friday, August 9th at 7 p.m. And that is my phone going off. In the background, if you do hear that. So for your game odds, the Atlanta Falcons are currently favored to win against the Miami Dolphins at a minus two and a half. Did open up as a minus one, but the public bet is sitting at a 15%, while the Dolphins are a plus two and a half at the 85% public bet. Your money line, people are taking Atlanta at a 89% with a minus 145 money line. And Miami at a plus 122 with an 11% public bet. For total points, the over and under did open up as a 37.5, but the current right now is 36.5. Right now, and it's a hundred minus 110 on the over and a minus 110 on the under. And of course, this is the preseason week one for the Atlanta Falcons, Friday, August 9th. 2024 7 p.m eastern standard time will be hosted by the miami dolphins at hard rock stadium at the miami gardens in florida and of course you can watch all these games on the nfl plus app or your local station which for georgia which will be at fox 5 atlanta and of course guys i do want to classify right here that these preseason games are only games to kind of determine what the roster is going to look like. No, if the Atlanta Falcons do blow out the Miami Dolphins like 55 to nothing, yes, that's a good win for sure. I wish that was a regular season win, but that is no indication of what this team is going to look like. No, we're not going to see no Kirk Cousins. Yes, he does want to get out there on the field, and at least play a series or two. But Raheem Morris is not going to allow that to happen. He wants Kirk Cousins fresh against the Steelers week one in the Benz. Because, guys, let me tell you, the Benz is going to be rocking come week one in September. Season tickets are sold out. Go on StubHub right now or SeatGeek, whatever. These freaking tickets are outrageous. Right now, oh, near like I think the cheapest one is like 
exactly two hundred dollars, and that's for nosebleed. Like, but you know, the bins is probably going to be sold out at least week one. That's just my overall guess. I could be wrong, but it's a good indication, especially with season tickets being sold out for the bins. So we'll have to wait and see on that one right there. But definitely having Kirk Cousins ready week one against the Steelers is going to be a must. But I really want to see out of the preseason. I know we're probably not going to see it week one right here. Maybe week two, possibly week three. I want to see at least Bijan, Drake London, and Kyle Pitts out there. I want to see what Michael Penix Jr. is really going to do with those type of weapons. If he has to step in, let's just say week six or, you know, whatever, to cover for Kirk Cousins if, you know, and God forbid, I hope nothing does bad happen. But if it does happen, something bad, Michael Pence Jr. could come in with ease and start throwing to a Drake London, Bijan, Kyle Pitts, no problem, and win us some games, and hopefully we stay on a win, win streak pretty much. That's what I'm hoping for when it comes to the Atlanta Falcons this season. I'm not going to be unrealistic and say, oh, the Falcons are going to go 18-0 and or 17-0, or whatever the record is going to be. But I do have a realistic expectation that the Falcons should go at least 10-7 or 11-6. I think that week one game against the Steelers is going to be a, a victory. Then, then you're going to have at least two losses in a row against Philly at Philadelphia, Monday night football, and Sunday night football against the Kansas City Chiefs. The only reason why I'm saying that there is a, that that's a coin flip is for two reasons. One, where are the bins? Sold out season tickets. First Sunday night game since, what, the Eagles back in 2019. So that's good. That gives us at least a good home field advantage. And number two, you're getting the Kansas City Chiefs early in the season. You're not getting them late when they're finally starting to figure out their rhythm. You're starting to get them at the beginning of the season when things kind of look like, oh my gosh, you know, the season is going to be over already kind of scenario right there. Because the sports media is going to hype that up a lot if the Kansas City Chiefs do lose to the Atlanta Falcons, which I, of course I hope they do. But they're going to hype it up like, oh boy, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs, what's going on? You know, they since they lost Eric Bieniemy and Andy Reid, it's just not looking the same. And as Taylor Swift interfering with Travis Kelsey's playtime on the, on the field or, you know, distracting him from football. And what about Brittany Mahomes? What about her? Everything is going to be just so crazy and chaotic for that first half of the season for the Kansas City Chiefs but they usually do turn things around. But in my case, I do hope the Falcons do beat the Kansas City Chiefs in week three. So yes, guys. So again, Miami Dolphins week one of the preseason Falcons are favorite at pretty much a field goal at this point right here. And I I like it. I really do. I do think this can be a bigger score margin for the Atlanta Falcons, especially with Eric Robinson coming in as OC and bringing that West coast offense with a Kirk cousins, being able to throw the ball so accurately and precise and having Drake London pits and Bijan catching or running. This could be set up for a deadly, deadly offense this season. So we shall wait and see, but my final predictions for this Atlanta Falcons versus the Miami Dolphins Week one preseason game. I'm going to say the Atlanta Falcons do win this one right here. I'm going to say at least 28 to 10 in favor of the Atlanta Falcons. That is my final score prediction right there for you, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know on Twitter at MMS Stacey Morgan or here on Spotify by leaving a comment down below in the Spotify app. But guys, I sure hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like button wherever you are listening from. iHeartRadio, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you find your preferred podcasts. But until then, I'm Morgan. We'll catch you all later. Peace. 
thank you for listening to this Belly Up Sports Podcast Network product. Some said we go belly up, so we made it our name, and we're still here.